What's going on YouTube? It's your boy I Newbie and back at you with another reaction to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood Episode 7. So yeah, if it's your first time on the channel, uh, consider subscribing. I do upload daily, you know, hit that little bell for notifications and whatnot. Leave a like on the video if you do enjoy the reaction and all that and check out some of my other videos. So in the last episode of Full Metal Alchemist, we got a glimpse of Alphonse's weakness i guess or a plot point of his like his the circle that was drawn on him by edward that brought his soul and binded his soul to the armor if that's wiped off then that's how you pretty much kill alphonse it'll unbind his soul to from the armor so i'm pretty sure that's gonna come into play later at some point and i'm not sure if if uh edward can just redraw the circle and he'll come back or if alphonse would have to sacrifice another limb in order to bring him back again. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but I'm pretty sure it's going to come into play sometime. I don't know how soon or how later, but um, they introduced it, so that's going to have some relevance at some point. And also, we went back, we seen Renri, Renri growing up, you know, well, they're all like 15. I think Alphonse said he was 14, and Edward is 15, and I think, I guess, Winry is the same age as Alphonse, I want to say, or as Edward, I want to say, so maybe she's 15 as well. And also we have in the background, we still have the Deadly Sins. We got uh, Envy, Gluttony, and uh, I want to say she's Lust. I don't think they and I don't think they said her name yet, but uh, I, like I said before, her character design leads me to believe that her name is Lust. Uh, there's seven Deadly Sins, I believe, and it's what a, I don't know. I'm not sure what they are. It's uh, Lust, Lust, Envy, Greed. Hold on. It's going to bother me if I don't look it up. Yeah, so here we go. The seven deadly sins are lust, gluttony, greed, sloth, wrath, envy, and pride. So, based off that, I don't know if there's going to be seven of them. I don't even know, you know, so apparently we've only been introduced to three of them. But it, it looks like gluttony eats people, and, you know, true to his name. Envy can transform into people, which makes sense because, you know, if, if you're envious of somebody, you want to be them. So... It makes sense that she can transform into people. That's her power. Lust, I guess she, from what we've seen so far, she just made her nail really long. I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure that's not the extent of her powers. I don't know exactly what she does, but she kind of looks like the leader-ish so far. It looks like Gluttony is Lust's pet. So I don't know. She looked like she looks like she's the ringleader of them, maybe like a, like a captain. You know what I mean? And she also said father. So there's somebody above them that they're reporting to. So... Uh, I don't know. They're working in the background doing something. And oh, we also got Scar. He's doing his thing. He's one of the uh, Ishvals. And we learned about them in a, a couple episodes ago. So let's hop into this reaction. Um, yeah, let's get it. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Episode 7. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're going to the Central Library. Oh. <laughs> this is the Central Library. I guess it's tore down. Oh, they burned it down. So they're trying hidden truth. So they're the sins. I'm gonna call them sins for right now. They're trying to stop um, Edward and Alphonse from getting the stone, and they're trying to kill Scar because they burned down the central library. Uh oh. See me in the streets or in the sewers. He didn't. He didn't blow up like uh, normal Not people do. With the Elric Normally, when he touches people, they just they just you know die. You may not want to display your ambitions quite so nakedly, sir. Roy's trying to beat a Fuhrer. Yeah. He climbing that corporate that. ladder or Reporting military himself. ladder, we not just corporate. Just <laughs> word of an explosion occurring on the Marl River. What? That scars joint. Did they get him? They didn't get him though. No. There's he, no mistaking. Was definitely he must have got away. Have you found the body? Not yet, but we're still searching. Oh, they put work on him, though. Havoc. Yes, sir. He you bleed now. Day and night or is that his blood? I want his body found. Don't take so much as a coffee break. Maybe he put work on them. Come on, Colonel. Can't you took the jacket off as a flex. <clears throat> oh no, that's uh, what's your name up. right there? I don't get to relax until I've seen his body, and that means you don't get to either. I suppose I'll be heading back to Central again. 
I need to report to father about everything that's happened here. So they almost got you. There's nothing left here but ashes. Everything's gone. I want to see the fight. Major Armstrong. Miss Sheska. Are you here? Miss Sheska? Sheska. Miss Sheska? She in the books? There's somebody under there. <laughs> Get her out the books, man. Oh, the library. The word itself is so beautiful. I've loved books my whole entire life. Oh, she is super book nerd. Super book nerd. Books are dope. I've been reading the Witcher books. It's pretty dope. Another job, I'll never be able to move my poor elderly mother into a better hospital. Do you remember seeing any research belonging to someone named Tim Marco? Let's see, Tim Marco. Where do I know that name? Oh, yes, of course. I remember now. Really? Oh, yes, I'm absolutely positive. There were some handwritten notes stuffed into a bookcase where they didn't belong. <sighs> the notes really were there after all. Which means they burned up along with everything else in the library. I remember everything that was in them. Would that help at all? What? <laughs> Photographic memory? That's how I am. I'm able to remember the content of any book I've ever read. Ooh. It'll take a while, but I could write the novel. Man, do you know what I would give for that skill in school? Bruh. Sorry, I know five days is a long time to wait, but there was quite a lot. In school, I was the worst. <laughs> I would read a page and forget it instantly. Trying to study is so terrible. If I had that skill, my life would be ten times easier. <laughs> I'm sure everybody's would. Are you absolutely sure this is a flawless reproduction of the notes? That's probably a recipe for the philosopher's stone. Then thank you very much. Incredible. All right, let's get these back to the library. Oh, hook him up. Lieutenant, here. This is my registration number and the pocket watch for ID. Bye. Hmm. Mm -hmm. From his research grants, huh? <laughs> Did he miss a decimal point somewhere? Whoa! How does a boy like that have this kind of money to throw around? My man got cheese. My man got bread to throw around like that. Books. What could they possibly have? I guess so. I mean, what does he really spend his money on? Incredibly dangerous if misused. They did say he had to pay for those auto mail repairs. He did pay uh Granny and Rinry. Recipes to the average person, but they're actually advanced alchemical notes. Uh huh. It might be a reference to the Green Lion of Metallurgic Alchemy. Do we have copies available of Flamel's Codex or Lambspring's Concern? Oh, okay, so they he uh put it in code so you wouldn't know about it. So. They have to de and decipher the codes. Great. We've got a place to start. That makes sense, man. Philosopher's Stone is a, a dangerous thing. You wouldn't want anybody just to pick it up and just be able to recreate it. Brother, maybe we should ask Dr. Marco about this directly. No way. That'd be admitting defeat. So this is a contest now? <laughs> just ask questions. Or ask her. She probably knows. She's smart as hell. Thanks to the money. Sheska. Big deal, really. Have you had any luck deciphering it so far? <laughs> terrible question. Have you found another job yet? <laughs> More terrible questions. <laughs> anyway, you two made me feel better. It was nice to know that even a pathetic mess like me can help out sometimes. Yeah. Yo! The Lieutenant Colonel Hughes. Major oh, Armstrong Hughes. You two were here. What's his daughter's name? I can't remember his daughter's name. Shout the next time you made it to Central. As if things weren't bad enough for us already. The first branch had to burn down in the middle of all this. It's been a problem, huh? A big one. All our case records were stored in the stacks at that location. Trying to work without them hasn't been a picnic, let me tell you. Hey, Lieutenant Colonel, I think I've got exactly the person you guys are looking for. Well, I have read the military's criminal case records, and I do remember them all. That's all I needed to hear, lady. You're hired. Boom. My office pays well, so don't worry. Got you a J-O-B. Come on now. Why are you gonna drag her out like that? <laughs> like, just let her walk, man. They blowing through them volumes, man. 
They killing it out here. I mean, better than I would be. What did you guys do to this place? They just give up? We cracked the code and decrypted the notes. Really? You did? But that's a good thing. Sounds like it's it? not a good There's thing. Nothing good about this, damn it. This is the devil's research. It should have been destroyed. Dr. Marco was right. It's evil. The main ingredient for a philosopher's stone is human life. Oh. In order to manufacture even a single stone, you have to make multiple human sacrifices. Multiple? How the military authorized research into something so horrible? You say multiple? Like, not just one? Just pretend you never heard any of it. Is that why the one that the doctor had... Mar Marco, is that the why the one he had was incomplete because he didn't sacrifice the souls or the people? I don't know if it's souls necessarily, but people. Today, so that make that means that they can't make one. They worked so hard to decipher those notes only to find out that. It disturbs me too, just thinking about it. Without murdering a bunch of people? What was that? <laughs> oh, it was nothing, sir. <laughs> <laughs> don't put your shirt on, bro. That is depressing as fuck. Because now they just found out that in order to get their bodies back, they would have to so sacrifice to people in order to create a philosopher's stone. Out the truth is too dangerous to hold. I wonder if it'll be like this all our lives. One step forward, two steps back. You know, Al, That's how it is, man. Something I've been wanting to tell you for a while. But I guess I've been too afraid to say it. Oh. It's Armstrong. You know he's gonna break it down. Yep. <laughs> you know what time it is. <laughs> Get the baby oil ready. His shirt coming off. It's hard to stay quiet when someone like him asks you. Closely. Maybe you'll find the truth hidden within the truth. As you can see, the surface is only a portion of the truth. There's still more to find here. Marco worked in the third laboratory. We should start with that one. It's the most suspect. Hmm. All right, so they're about to go to these laboratories, laboratories in the city. to try to find doing any remarkable research. something else. Here, what's this building used for? Another way? Laboratory. It's there. Huh? How can you be so sure that's it? There's a prison right next door. Okay. So oh, they were using the main ingredient for a philosophy. They were using prisoners. Yeah. That makes sense. That definitely makes sense, man. People nobody would miss. Prisoners. They're using the prisoners to make the stone. I'll look into what we've talked about. In the meantime, officers, speak of this to no one. Sir. And you, Elric brothers, behave yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I know you two boys. You were thinking about sneaking into this building and taking a look around, weren't you? We weren't. We weren't. We promised. Yeah, sure we weren't. Immediately. <laughs> you know what time it is, bro. I'm going right to this building. You should lock me up if you ain't want me to go over here. Come on now. You know me. That is suspicious. So there are people still at this prison. So there was okay. So the prison is still open. Whether I'm fine on my own or not isn't the issue. You're too big to get through here. It's not like I asked to get this big. <laughs> you gotta be depressed about it, man. It looks as if we've got guests. <laughs> Some daredevil idiots came to what visit this? today. Lucky I've got a small body. Oh no! I just got myself a tiny little earthquake! <laughs> that moment where you roast yourself? You don't even know it. Play yourself. Who is this dude? Ooh. Really? That's where we gonna end at? So yeah, damn. So in that episode, pff, we seen Scar. He got, he got jumped. <laughs> and he got away. He, he didn't die. He got jumped by uh, Lust and, and Gluttony, but he didn't die. 
he got away. And also, I don't know why Lust and, and Gluttony of them, why they're trying to stop the uh, brothers, the Elric brothers, from finding the Philosopher's Stone. I'm not really sure their motives behind that, but they're trying to stop them from doing that. So they burned down Central Library, but they found the uh, the information anyways, thanks to Sheska, because she has a photographic memory. She wrote it down for them, and then they deciphered it, and it they found out that they need humans, like multiple humans, in order to create a Philosopher's Stone, which pretty much goes against what they're about. They don't want to have to sacrifice a bunch of people in order to bring their own bodies back. That kind of goes against what they're trying to do. So they're at a, a dilemma, but they said there's some truth behind that that they can't see yet. So there may be an, a way around it or another way to do it that somebody's already figured out or they're trying to figure out right now. So they're going to a laboratory, which is next to a prison, because they believe they were using that prison as the uh the source for the people that they were using to create philosopher stones uh that the military was and if that if that ever got found out that the military was creating philosopher stones from prisoners that would be a scandal for the military because you know clearly they're sacrificing people for these stones which i guess can be used as weapons and in, in some degree yeah it makes your alchemy stronger like it did the priest so it can be used as a weapon in some form and they don't want that to get out. So yeah. And then we got some guy in a skull mask and then another dude in an, another suit or whatever. He had a big blade and I guess they're about to fight. So yeah, it's heating up, man. It's getting good. It's getting good. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all that happened. I'm curious to see what, um, who this father dude is like, what is, what is his, behind the mask type deal like what is he doing back there why is he having uh envy and them envy and lust and gluttony go around and do their thing and all that stuff and scar i wonder what happened to him i'm sure we'll get some answers sooner or later but for now i guess that's it man that's all for uh, episode seven so if you like the reaction like comment subscribe and all that good stuff man uh hit that little bell because i do upload daily we still on that road to 500 i appreciate you checking me out the video if you made it this far check out one of these other videos it's probably up on the screen right now and i'm gonna see y'all boys in the next episode of full metal alchemist all right deuces